Day in May. Hello, and welcome to Element a Day in May. My name is Sarah J. Egan, and I'm your guest host for this episode. You may have seen me on CBS's new show, Rush Hour, or in my own YouTube series, Magic for Muggles. Psst, you should probably subscribe. Go subscribe. Do it. I'm so excited to be here today because like Jesse, I am a scientist and an actress. I have a neuroscience degree and I was in graduate school for genetics where I spent time radio labeling strands of DNA. Which brings us to today's element, Iterbium. Iterbium! I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't heard of it. Iterbium is one of the least abundant elements and it isn't even found naturally on its own. It's only found in compounds with other elements. A few cool uses for ytterbium. Number one, ytterbium is used as radiation in portable x-ray machines. Ytterbium emits gamma rays, which go through the soft tissues of the body and then are stopped by bones and other denser materials. Radiation, gamma rays, pew, pew. Number two, ytterbium is used for stainless steel. It's used to both improve the grain refinement and improve the strength. Number three, and this is pretty cool, Ytterbium is responsible for the world's most stable atomic clock. The ytterbium clock ticks are stable to within less than two parts in one quintillion, which is a one with 18 zeros after it. The clock is like a modern day pendulum or metronome and the swings are stable for a period of time comparable to the age of the universe. That's pretty stable. And that's today's element, atomic number 70, ytterbium. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Sarah J. Egan. It's been a pleasure being your guest host, and be sure to check back tomorrow for another Element a Day in May. Bye!